you trying to unlock a wind glaive as a wave final maybe because you just trying to unlock all of them or maybe uh you just deciding maybe you want to play a, a paladin tank kill door well today in the day for you because we are going to discuss everything you need to know about unlocking wind glaive from each of the teals that you need to gather as well as of course uh maybe to maybe show you how to get a whole bunch of other items that you will also use for other way final and weapons as well but before we hop into all that i do want to give a giant thank you to everybody that is supporting on a patreon.com slash maccon be sure to check that out there is some huge updates over there been all rearranged and everything so make sure to head on over there to support the channel as well as everybody that subscribe at our live stream that we do every a single night starting around 7 15 over on twitch uh, dot tv slash troy mac on and of course everyone here on youtube that have hit that wonderful join button and with that let's jump into this and let the cuts how to unlock wind glaive so to start off here you need to go ahead and collect four of this in a category for wind glaive which is not surprising they're pretty much the same as they have been for every other away final up to that point uh, so to start off our fourth one here a red wind grave calling it's super simple you just need to go ahead and gather ten thousand gold and of course if you need help of uh, farming gold i got a video all about it how to farm it super quickly uh, so be sure to check out the cards above uh, for that but from there let's go ahead and move into a wind grave college uh, so this one is going to require uh, to get our hands on a full item with Windgrave College, a Groom Gem of Avarice, Metra Petra, and of course Memory Fragments. So let's go ahead and jump into the Windgrave College. This one here is going to require you to kill some bosses, but then again, each of the Windgrave uh, College, as well as Power, as well as we can't forget about Fate, is going to require you to kill bosses. So let's go ahead and just start off with College here, and we need to go ahead and head on in, and we need to go ahead and go kill the Blood Fawn. So the Blood Fawn can of course be found in the pit and will of course be a uh, fighting the giant uh slime monster uh, so by defeating him you will get your hands on this you are going to need three of these just know you can get the items any on a uh, bill or till one uh, so feel free to take this at whatever pace you want i do recommend uh, doing it on lower till just so you can do that way quicker especially if you're already mat level uh, so just go ahead do that get you three of them and we are ready to move on into our next one as for collecting the gem of avarice you need to go ahead and get your hands on uh, five of these and you can go ahead and farm these uh, by hunting down a little buddy over here the loot goblin uh, so by killing him you will get your hands on a few of these as i just totally miss everything you know and also a little side tip at least from my experience he seemed to spawn a lot more in the undercourt but he can pretty much spawn any wheel uh, so anytime you see him make sure to get your hands on him since as you can see i just got two of them uh, so go ahead get you five of them you will be good to go on your gems and the next item we need to get our hands on is the motra Petra. This is going to be kind of straightforward, but also might take a little bit because you need 25 of these. And to get your hands on these, this is fairly simple for the moat part because all we need to do is go to a lot zone. Doesn't really matter of which lot zone you go to. And you want to go ahead and make sure you put on a, a solo energy and Buman. And by doing so, we'll of course get not only enemy to drop them every once in a while, but as well as any mining location that will appear in that zone. So just run this a couple times till you get your hands on 25. And our next item is memory fragment. This is another one that's gonna be super easy. Uh, you need 2,000 of these. So once again, might take a little bit. But you can go ahead and get memory fragment by well doing anything do you want to do the lot zone or do you want to head out into the open areas that is up to you to decide 
on how you want to farm it, but you can find the by doing pretty much any activity. Now let's go ahead and talk about how to get your hands on Wind Grey Power. This one is going to require uh, four more items. And to start off here, let's actually talk about the power itself. And this one will require you to get your hands on three of these. And you're going to go ahead and want to head to the Undercore. And make sure you go fight uh, the Agent of Hands. Uh, since this one is just a boss battle, kill them and get your hands on three of these. Once again, it might take a few tries. Uh, but it's pretty simple. You can get it at tier 1 all the way up to tier 4 in difficult setting. Uh, so once again, do whatever you want. But I do recommend tier 1 just to make it go faster. And our next item we need to get our hands on is of course the treasure. Bean it down. So this is another one that will take you a little bit of time to you need 5 of them. But you might get lucky and might be able to get all 5 at the same time. But the problem going to be actually of finding this event since this is a event that can happen inside of pretty much any lot zone here and of course you will know you have tumble across it when you see one of these shrines and how this event happens is of course by activating it it will go ahead summon a phoenix and you got yourself about a minute and a half to kill as many phoenixes as possible and of course the more you kill the more actual uh, Phoenix Downs are you going to be able to get your hands on. Uh, so this is one of them that ideally you want to make sure when you are farming it. To have the most powerful uh, weapon and character that you have at the moment. So you can make sure to do that quick. And hopefully get you a, a crap ton of Phoenix down uh, for you. And our next item we need is Grimini Motra Betram. Uh, so this is something you might already been getting your hands on because uh, to do this uh, pretty much like we did with the regular version of this item is a court pretty much do any lot zones and just make sure uh, you have a court a solo own uh, so you might already have a couple of these from farming the fort version if not once again to one some more zones with this and you're going to be needing 25 of these are for uh, this power and of course like last time we need to get our hands on 2000 memory fragments that will once again do whatever you want to get that you can do it in every mode uh, so get your node 2000 and you're good to go on uh, this memory and now for the final memory set here we need to get our hands on a another five items here so let's go ahead and start off uh, with of course our uh, wing grave of fate uh, this one is going to require you to get three of these and of course this involve another boss battle this time uh, we gonna go ahead and have to go and fight the forts uh, so if you need any help at all doing this boss battle to make it super easy i did a video all about the forts a link above for this so be sure to follow that guide and you will be able to get this and once again the will be dropping on any a uh, difficult setting so i do recommend tier one for this but go ahead defeat or and get your hands on three of the face and our next item is the archaic bone we need to go ahead and get five of these and if you want to get these super easy the best way to do this is of course uh, by heading over uh, to boardwalk and doing this on any teal once again ideally you want to do this with no imbuement on that way you will have a higher chance of for the event to happen since this is tied to a event and when the event actually spawn here you will notice it being a one of these little uh, mining wigs and you can go ahead and click on it it is going to require uh, some imbuement so let's go ahead and give it one ideally probably whichever one you have the most of or you're not planning on using so let's go ahead and put this in and dot the mining so it will go ahead and dig into the ground and will pop up a some will semi quote to you uh, so the main objective here is a quote to go ahead figure out oh well is it a funny and getting the item so also when it pop out of the ground a whole bunch of enemies uh will go ahead and spawn uh, so just know uh you are gonna have to fight a decent amount here uh, but once you go ahead and knock the guys out 
you will be able to go ahead and collect your bones and of course as you can see i got one heal but there is something to keep in mind about this event is as you go through it there is chances you might find a few more a uh, cattle around in the level itself so keep an eye out just know it not drip one i have had up to three spawn on me uh, through all my ones uh, so make sure you keep an eye out for them and make sure you collect each of the bones and our next item a grimoire a shadow a warp draw Betram, a uh, mouthful heal. And you can get this item uh, by heading uh, into any of the lot zones here. And the main thing about this is, oh, once again, we need to go ahead and put on an imbuement. And we want to put on a shadow energy or just shadow. Because uh, just like uh, some of the other crystal, you're going to get your hands on it uh, by uh, destroying mining places. So you can mine it and some enemy can drop it as well and you are going to be needing a 20 of these uh so make sure to get out there and good luck getting your hands on all of this and then we are back once again getting an item we have always got a hand full time with the grimly molten betra so once again just do any lock zone that you uh, see fit here uh, to get your hands on another 50 of the and don't forget to once again make sure you have your solo torn down like the previous a few items we have talked about uh so once that is done and once you have your hands on 50 of this it is time once again to go get your memory fragment once again can do this in any content any lot zone any open area and you're going to need a another two thousand of the fragments and just like that that is how you unlock a wind grave and hopefully you have found the video helpful in one way or another if so make sure to do the wonderful thumbs up subscribe and all the wonderful uh, bells below and let me know a uh, which way final you would like to see me and next to show you how to unlock and hopefully you will have better luck than I did because uh, after filming that video for almost seven hours, um, I'm I'm kind of still just missing one one of the wing way fake. Like oh God. I thought the video was gonna take two hour tops. I either way, like, favorite, subscribe. See 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 you all in the comments. Bye.